Hello, Year 7. Um, your first job today is going to be to annotate a diagram. So you're going to need a pencil and you're going to need to find a song that you're going to listen to while you're doing it as your time limit. Okay, so pause the video, find yourself a song, get yourself something to draw with and something to draw on. Okay, hopefully you've got that pencil and paper or pen and paper or whatever you're drawing on ready and you've got that song as your time limit. Okay, it should be about four or five minutes long. Here is the picture. So you can need to copy this picture down and you can need to add labels and annotations to it. So pause the video here, start your song and see how far you get. Okay, hopefully you have finished your song and you've got lots of different labels and annotations on the diagram. Now I'm going to show you what I put as my annotations. So we've got names for the three different states. We've got liquid, solid and gas. We've got words to describe how we move from one to the other. So we've got melting, going from a solid to a liquid. We've got liquid to a gas, whether it's boiling or evaporating. Gas to a liquid, condensing. Liquid to a solid, freezing. We've got a description of the particles in my solid, liquid and gas. Having a label saying these blue dots of particles would probably be very good as well. Um, everything like that I think would be brilliant to have in this diagram. Now, this week, we're not looking at particles, we're looking at cells. Okay. Um, before we actually get onto the cells, I want to just talk about a word. Adaptation. Adaptation is normally spoken about when we talk about whole living organisms. Okay, so a polar bear is adapted to live in snowy conditions because it's white, it's better camouflaged, it's easier to catch prey. A giraffe has a really long neck, it's easier for them to eat the leaves at the tops of trees. Camels have really wide toes and feet, okay? It can spread out its feet so it doesn't sink into the sand. Okay, these are adaptions these animals have so they're better suited to its environment or to its job. Okay, so adaption is a really important word, okay, when we're thinking about the cells that we're thinking about today. Because we're not just thinking about our standard plant and animal cells like we did a few weeks ago, we're looking at specialised cells. Okay, specialised cells are ones that are adapted to make them do their job better, to make them better at their role or function. And I've got seven examples of specialised cells here. I'd like to see how many of these cells you can name. And I want you to jot down what kind of features can you see. It's going to be rough. Okay, if you want to do it really neat, you can, but be rough. Okay. Spend a couple of minutes, pause the video and see how many cells you can write down the names of and what features you can see. So for instance, we've got a, a sperm cell. Okay, sperm cell has a tail for it to swim. That would be a function and its name. Okay, so I want you to try and name as many of these cells as you can. So pause the video here. Okay, so I've got a summary. We've got a sperm cell. It's found the testes, its job is to carry out genetic information and fertilize the egg. Egg cells find the ovaries, the job is to carry genetic information. These are all the roles that they've got. And we've got palisade cells found on the surface of these, its job is to carry out photosynthesis, lots of chloroplasts. We've got a red blood cell, it's found in the blood. Its job is to carry oxygen around the body. We've got a nerve cell, it's found all over the body. It carries electrical signals to our brain and from our brain. Okay, two different parts of our body. We've got a root hair cell, this is not hair on our heads. Our root hair cell is found in the roots of plants. Okay, its job is to absorb water and minerals. It's got a large surface area. And a ciliated, I always struggle to pronounce that, epithelium. Okay, it's found in our throat airways. Okay, its job is to sweep away mucus. So these little hairs, like bits here, sweep upwards and helps us get rid of mucus from a cough. Um, those are the seven cells. If you've got seven out of seven, that's fantastic. That's really good. Give yourself a massive pat on the back. That's brilliant. If you've got six out of seven, that's still really good. Give yourself another pat on the back. If you've got, if you've got um, five out of seven, that's still good. Give yourself like a pat almost on your back, like sort of on your shoulder. If you only got four out of seven, give yourself a pat on the shoulder. Three out of seven, kind of think, oh, what could I do a better? Two out of seven, hmm, need to learn these specialized cells. Okay. Now your job, you want to take a whole page of A4 and you want to have the name of the cell. So we've got nerve cell, sperm cell, egg cell, we've got all the names. We want to have where it's found, what its job is, and I want you to try and fill in as many of these as possible, what its adaptations are. So what is the adaptation of a nerve cell? What is the adaptation of a sperm cell? Okay, 
this is your main task for your specialized cells. Okay, so you want to make this table and fill in the information. Okay, what would also be lovely is if you could make a little sketch of each of those cells outside the table. Now, some of you are much better at drawing than others. Most of you are much better at drawing than me. So I get that that might take some time, but this is your primary bit. If, you, if you've got extra time, do those beautiful diagrams to show those cells as well. Now, to help you with that, um, I'm uploading a, a little research document on PowerPoint that will be in the Classworks um, homework and a couple of links to BBC Bite Size, which is a brilliant place to start any kind of research on your key stage three science. Okay, so hope you have a great week. I hope you do brilliantly. I'm looking forward to seeing all your work. Take care of yourselves, take care of your family. Bye-bye.